Okay, now one of the reasons that Node.js is pretty fast is because it is coded around events. Now although there are a lot of objects that emit events depending on the situation, in this video let us see how to create our own events and then trigger them ourselves. Let's consider a very basic example. When you walk into a shop by opening the door, a tiny bell goes off that alerts the shopkeeper that he has a customer. So in this case, you opening the door is going to be the event and we are going to handle that event by ringing the bell. So this ringing the bell is actually called an event handler. What has to happen when a particular event hap uh, occurs. So let's see how to put that into code. Now we have to make use of a core module called events when we are dealing with events and event handlers. So variable events is equal to require the keyword and then since events is a core module you can just type in events. Then we need to make use of the event emitter class. So variable event emitter is equal to new events dot event emitter. Now let's see let's first define what has to happen when the door is opened so we need to ring the bell right so variable ring bell is equal to an anonymous function so function and then within the function we can just log the bell goes ring 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 then put a semicolon now we can use make we can make use of the event emitter dot on so to specify what has to happen when an event occurs. So the event we are talking about is opening the door. So door open and we're going to assign the handler ring bell. So we are going to tell Node.js that when this event occurs, call this function. And then we need to trigger that event. So we are going to be making use of event emitter dot emit. And this is going to emit our event door open. Now if we save this, open command prompt and type node app.js goes ring ring ring. So our execution starts here. We are first emitting our door open event. Now it checks through the code and it finds out that when the door e door open event occurs we need to call this handler which is a function so variable ring bell is our function and it goes ring 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 pretty great right now it's also possible to pass arguments to the function so let's say we have another handler let's 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 say that when the ring goes off ring 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 the shopkeeper is supposed to say welcome so we can have another event emitter dot emit and this time when the bell rings so our event is going to be bell rings we can say welcome and we can directly define event emitter dot on bell rings a function right here saying function message and then let's just log the message Now save this. If you go back to your command prompt, node app.js. So you enter into the shop, the bell goes ring ring ring, and then the shopkeeper hears that and says welcome. So just to explain it in one go, we are going to first emit the event door open. So on door open, node.js knows it is going to have to call ring bell. So it goes here and says function ring 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 and once 
that is done we are going to say emit bell rings you know in fact we can just move this bell rings on to our ring bell function so that once ring bell starts executing it's going to ring 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 and once that ring 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 is done it's going to emit the bell rings event with a parameter welcome which is then passed into our function and then we are going to log the message so save it and execute it again so it's ring 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 welcome so that's how you deal with events and event handlers in node.js how you create your own and trigger them yourselves thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video